Right, but who is in front of us next is Scotland's Brexit Minister, Mike Russell. Thank you. I've been, I've been speaking up for Scotland for the last three and a half years and I'm now lo losing my voice. So this is going to be very brief. I was looking around here and thinking to myself, I thought there was something about taking down the European flag out here. <laughs> um, it seems to have had the opposite effect and I am delighted to see it here. All these flags, as they tell us two things. They tell us firstly that European citizens in Scotland are not forgotten. No. Indeed, we're all European citizens. Yes. And we are determined to go on being European citizens. Yes. But they also tell us something really important. This fight is not over. For the last three and a half years, I've been of the view that we could stop Brexit. And I have to say that today is a day I never wanted to see happen. But it's happened. So what we need to do tomorrow morning when we get up is say we are going to finish the fight. And the fight is to make sure that Scotland rejoins the EU as an independent nation. Now, a lot of the work that's required for that is already underway. We haven't been sitting to one side. We've been looking at all the detail. We've been working out how it can be done. We've been preparing ourselves for it. Thank you. And at the end of the day, however, there is one thing that Scotland has to do for itself. It has to choose independence. Yes! There is no shortcut to getting into the EU. You have to be an independent state. So we have to go out there to persuade every single one of our fellow men and women throughout Scotland that it is their in their best interests, not just a best economic interests, it is their best interests as human beings with shared values across Europe to choose independence and then to re-enter the EU as member number 28. Yes! That's, that's what we're going to do. That's the work we're going to do, and you being here tonight isn't an end to this process. It shows how passionately, how passionately the people of Scotland believe that they should move forward. This is the start of something, not the end of something. Let's now take it forward with courage, with determination, and in the end, with success. Thank you.